Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought that I would do another tarot box unboxing. This one is the Tarot of the Divine. It's a deck and guide book. It's by Yoshi Yoshitani. I think that's how you say the last name. It's inspired by deities, folklore, and fairy tales from around the world. This is what the box looks like. The side. And this is the back. So it says, the path to enlightenment is unique for each of us, but many of the lessons we learn are shared stories passed among cultures and generations. Tarot of the Divine brings traditional tarot archetypes to life with a lustrous series of fables, including the Little Mermaid, Aladdin, the Crane Wife, Sleeping Beauty, King Arthur, and the stories of many lesser known legends and deities from all over the world. Just as the tarot provides ways to interpret the world around us, so too do these illuminating folk tales. So I obviously took the plastic off. I think I might have shuffled this deck just to connect with it. I don't remember. I'm not entirely sure. I did cleanse. My cats are fighting. I did cleanse the deck. So this is the inside of the box. Let me see. Okay, yeah, so I did shuffle through them. I didn't put them back in order. Usually I put them back in order for the video. So this is what the back of it looks like. And this is the little guidebook. It says, the first page says, welcome listener, seeker, speaker. A collection of cards, the tarot uses visual symbolism as a gateway between the subconscious mind and the conscious one. Uh, it gives you a little bit of detail about the deck. It says how to read the tarot, major arcana, minor. Tells you the suits and what their general um, category is. And after it goes the numbers, what the general category is. So I'll show you. So that's just that. And after it says upright and reverse meanings, it gives you a description. It tells you you can do different types of spreads. They have the one card spread that's yes or no questions or as a general forecast for the day or the month. We have three card spread, which is option one, option two, what needs to be considered. Or you have what another person may want, what you want, where the conversation is heading. Five card spread. Uh, so there's the present, the past, the current future, unseen influences and hidden potential. Oh, and that's what also, it gives you a sample card interpretation on this page. So it tells you how you can interpret the beauty and the beast. I'm not trying to make this video too long. And then it goes into detail of each card like this. Let's see. Okay, yeah. And that's the ending. This is the last page. And that's pretty much it for the book. So again, this is what the back looks like. I like the colors. I like the moons. This is like the triple moon. I love... I'm trying to see... Hmm. because i see i was just trying to figure out because here i was like oh that could be for the cups that could be for the pentacles and then i guess this i was gonna say this could be for the wands but then where would the sword be i don't know maybe this one's the sword and the other one is the wand i don't know so first we have the Nine of Wands. And I don't really recognize most of these people on these cards, except for like obviously the Beauty and the Beast. This is Two of Cups. Yeah, so I only know the ones that like are common that you've seen on like, for example, Disney, This is the Hermit. 
This is the Six of Coins. Four of Wands. Queen of Cups. Ace of Wands. Queen of Swords. My dog does not know what to do with herself. She's just walking back and forth. This is Six of Wands. I like this card, Temperance. Ace of Coins. Nine of Cups. Seven of Coins. Seven of Wands. This is the Wheel of Fortune. And also just to note that these cards are actually like a good like thickness. So they're not too thin, but they're not too thick. So they're like perfect. The King of Cups. The Hierophant. Look at the hair, so pretty. Two of Swords. I love this image. I love this one too. Three of Swords. Six of Cups. Look at the crow. The Sun. Ten of Wands. Look at this imagery. Like, look at that. Amazing. Page of Cups. Five of Swords. And I have not worked with these cards yet. So, I only looked at the imaging briefly and shuffled to connect with the deck. Like I usually do. But these colors and like all the images are really, 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 really well done. I, this one, it's just like, look at that. Look at that, look at the fire. Oh my gosh, amazing. Page of coins. Knight of coins. Nine of coins. I thought I said nine twice, but I said knight and then nine, so it sounded similar to me. King of coins. This is dope. The empress. She's fire. The lovers this one i recognize beauty and the beast knight of swords but then again i probably recognize some of the other cards that i've already mentioned but it just didn't come to mind but when i go in the book and i see then i'm gonna be like oh okay yeah when i go back and look it's just that it takes me some time to process it three of coins <clears throat> The moon. If you didn't know, now you know. I have an app on my phone. Oh, I don't remember what it's called. There's an app on my phone that I use for my horoscope. It's common. It's like a one that everyone uses. I can't. Is it Nebula? I don't. I, I can't remember, but there's an app I use on my phone, and I'm a Pisces. And the moon according to that app is our tarot card the moon is our thing so i think that's why i'm so like obsessed with the moon and everything like moon but it's interesting to find out that after i've been obsessed with the moon forever but i love this imaging look how long her hair is five of wands oh my goodness Queen of Wands. Doesn't she look like the older version of Lilo from Lilo and Stitch? 
I love it. That used to be my favorite movie. Queen of Coins. Ten of Coins. The Sherio. Sherio. You know what? Is it the Chariot? The Sherio? It's hard to pronounce some word because you don't know if it's pronounced the French way or the English way. So automatically when I see this, I say the chériot. The I don't know how to say it in English, okay? The, the chariot, the chériot, see French again. Dang. I need to go on Google after and see how it's said in English. If you guys didn't know, I'm from the French part of Canada, so I often get, sometimes I get words mixed up because I'm used to, like, when I read it, I'm used to seeing, like, okay, I'm going to say this the French way, but it's just, like, automatic, like, and it's annoying me now because I can't say this word in English. I really have to go on Google after and hear it, but this is the Chériot. This is the Seven of Cups. I'm guessing this is supposed to be Aladdin. Duh. Um, the Hanged Man. So this is supposed to be, I'm assuming, Sleeping Beauty. The World. This kind of reminds me of like older version of Lilo and Stitch too. I like this picture. I love this picture. Like, look at this. Two of Wands. Nine of Swords. Strength. It's kind of... I'm going to take a wild guess and say that maybe this is... Mm. What's that Disney movie with the character that has the red hair? Oh my goodness. It's gonna bother me because I, I, I know the movie, but I don't remember the girl's name. <laughs> but this is strength. Wait, I just realized I thought it was a lion, but look, it's a lion's body with a crocodile's head. That's very dope. Eight of Wands. This is five of coins. The magician. I feel like this might be Rapunzel. I'm not entirely sure. I'm gonna look in the book after. Ten of cups. Is this supposed to be like mermaid? The mermaid movie. Hmm. Four of coins. I have a lot of questions and I don't know the answers and it's bothering me. King of Swords. The High Priestess. Eight of Cups. This is The Fool. Okay, but now I think that this is the Mermaid movie. Ugh, this is The Fool. Seven of Swords. The Devil. I love. Look at that. Dope. Ace of Swords. Page of Wands. Fire. Eight of Coins. Look, I see pentacle, pentagram. Judgment. Three of cups. Ten of swords. Page of swords. Ace of cups. 
four of cups the star that's supposed to be a lamb or a sheep Reminds me Mary had a little lamb. The Emperor. The Tower. This is Rapunzel, if I'm not mistaken. That one's one of my favorites too. Eight of Swords. Five of Cups. This is the Death card. Three of Wands, Knight of Wands, Justice, Knight of Cups, Two of Coins, Six of Swords, Four of Swords. So that is the end of this deck. So now I think I have a total of nine or 10 decks and that is just beginning because I have a lot on my wish list. I'm gonna go in because I wanna see if I recognize any of the cards. Oh, and just to let you know that on each description, so it tells you, like for example, The Fool is the Little Mermaid, it tells you that it's from Denmark and it's a Danish fairy tale. And it tells you, it gives you a little description. It says the upright and reversal meaning. So it does tell you um, where it's from. See, the Little Mermaid, Denmark. Uh, the fairy godmother. Oh, this is the fairy godmother. This is from France. French fairy tale. Turkey. Mexico. So it tells you all of that. Let's see which other ones I've heard of. Oh, the emperor. This is King Arthur which is Britain, Celtic legend. Beauty and the Beast, like I said. Hmm. Sleeping Beauty was the hanged man. A lot of these I haven't heard of. The Tower was Rapunzel, so I was right. For all the other ones, I haven't heard of them. But then again, I... I feel like I've heard, I've heard the Nightingale from Denmark. And look, La La Lona. Have you ever seen that movie? Amazing. This one is actually La La Lona from Mexico. That movie is fire. This is supposed to be the Snow Queen from Denmark, but I thought that I would, you would see some type of snow, but then again, I don't know the history of it. Aladdin, I was right. Oh, the Eight of Cups is Moses from Egypt. Hmm. Oh, Ace of Coins is Jack and the Beanstalk. Two of Swords is Sita from India. I feel like I've heard that before. Uh, the Gordian Knot from Turkey. I feel like I've heard about that before. Hmm. Osiris, Set, and Isis is Five of Swords from Egypt. I've heard that one, of course. Coyote from Pacific Northwest. Salish Legend. I never heard of that. Oh, they have one of Canada in here. Ten of Swords is Sedna from Canada. It's Inuit mythology. Mm. King of Swords is Griffin from Persia. I've heard of some of these before. So the ones that I've showed you, I've heard of. Oh, the Magic Paintbrush from China. Mm. John Henry from Alabama. 
and yeah so that is the end of my video thank you guys so much for watching again obviously i will do more unboxings when i get more decks um right now it's kind of slow because oh and i did get this off amazon i've been getting my decks off amazon because over here a lot of stores are closed and a lot of because these type of stores that I get the tarot decks from, they're not considered essential here, so they're closed. You can order from them, but it takes longer than if Amazon, I get it the next day. Um, and then again, they don't have like specific decks that I want. So I often turn to Amazon because Amazon has everything. But if I can, I do order from my local stores. Um, but yeah, so that's it for the video. I will do on my next tarot deck thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye now